Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 10 previews and analysis. This video is for the game between the Houston Texans and the Arizona Cardinals. This game will be played in Arizona, who comes in with a record of 4-4. Four and four, Very much in the mix there for one of those wild card spots here, halfway through their schedule. The Texans come in with a record of 2-6, and six and... You know, things have sort of been going sideways for the Texans here since starting off the season, uh, you know, at 2-0. and But, you know, the Texans come into today's game. Case Keenum will get the start. Gary Kubiak, after suffering that, uh, you know, that medical condition at halftime where he collapsed on the field last week versus the Colts, he won't obviously be coaching this week. Wade Phillips will take over the reins as head coach. And as far as the Texans go, you know, I think you saw a little bit last week what the blueprint is going to be with Case Keenum. Uh, more throws down the field, certainly, as we saw that on full display, especially in the first half last Sunday night. The long throws he completed to a guy like Andre Johnson, who, you know, for the for at least most of the first half of the season, most of the deep routes had been going uh, to DeAndre Hopkins. But last week you saw them largely going to Andre Johnson. We'll see how his matchup with Patrick Peterson is going to be a huge one this year. Um, I was reading on Pro Football Focus here a couple minutes ago. Peterson's played 584 of the 586 snaps, uh, you know, for the Cardinals this year. And being that that's the case, he's going to shadow Andre Johnson, I would assume, the entire game. Are the you know Peterson's been coming on stronger as of late. Started the season a little slow. How does that matchup unfold? I think it's going to be a huge determining factor in the game, because if you look, Arian Foster is not going to play in this game. And last week, Ben Tate averaged under four yards a carry. So is the combination of Ben Tate and you know Dennis Johnson and maybe Deji Kareem uh, are they enough to counteract the fact that they lost Foster last week? They weren't. Because I thought a good running game could have really helped them in the second half hold on to that lead. But, you know, in this one, I think they're going to need to run the ball more and need to run it effectively. Because I like what Todd Bowles has been doing here. Very under the radar with this Arizona defense, as they have been the last couple years. But you have Bowles in there, a new defensive coordinator. Um, watch his intricate blitz schemes. He's been using them a lot this year, especially with his linebackers. Uh, most notably, his middle ones, Darrell Washington, Carlos Dansby. Um, look for a lot of pressure to be put on the interior of that Houston offensive line. We'll see how they hold up. And obviously, look, if Keenum's game is going to be throwing long passes, those need time to develop. And we'll see on the road. Uh, he played pretty well okay, on the road in Kansas City in his first start. So we'll see if he can uh, build upon that here in the second game. As far as Arizona's offense goes, look, statistically Houston's offense is very good against the pass. But I think we saw in the second half last week, some of the holes the Colts were able to expose. And Bruce Arians being familiar with the Colts personnel, being he was the offensive coordinator and the interim head coach there last year, I think he's going to be able to put his offensive guys in good position um, to succeed because of his familiarity uh, with that Texans defense and also how his personnel from the Colts uh, were used uh, this week um, against uh, last week against them and, and look for, you know, you saw T.Y. Hilton have a good game last week. Um, so does that mean we see Caldwell have a good game? Does that mean we see, um, you know, more uh, uh, deep routes from the slot in general uh, for the Cardinals this week? That'll be something to watch as well. And as always, J.J. Watt on the defensive side of the ball, matching up against the interior of the Arizona offensive line. Um, the weak spot has not been Darren College. It's been that other guard spot um, on Arizona. Look for a lot, a lot of double teams of J.J. Watt from the interior of that offensive line. And just because you double team this guy really doesn't mean much. He's an absolute beast. But if they're able to keep him at bay and give Palmer time to throw, I think he could have success. Um, you, know, you got Keenum going on the road. I, I think Andre Johnson is going to be quelled a little bit by Patrick, Patrick Peterson. And I also think the absence of Foster will really show again uh, in this game uh, because I think the Cardinals will be more prepared for Keenum. I think they'll come at Keenum with better blitz schemes. And I think the absence of a running game is going to hurt Houston this week on the road. So I like the Cardinals minus 2.5 at home to beat the Texans. Guys, let me know what you think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter at S News Analysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview and recap every game every week, and I'm always talking news of the day here, both here and on my Twitter handle, at S News Analysis. Guys, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.